So, so a thing, a thing happened, a thing um, with a Game of Thrones theory video. Brand is the Night King, and we uh, we gotta talk about it. We gotta talk about it. What is up, YouTube? It's Josh and Justin. What up? This is the Den of Nerds. Uh, this is sort of a follow-up video on a video that came out yesterday when we were talking about, well, you were talking about, sir, a theory about Bran possibly being the Night King. So. A situation happened, so let's let's sort of explain that just a little bit. Um, yeah, so I found the text transcript of this theory, and I thought this theory was super cool. I wanted to share it with you guys, our Den of Nerds audience, so I went ahead, I made a little video about it. I, you know, took some video, did some audio, like went over, and that's when... Yes, that is when we realized, and it just kind of, everything kind of happened all pretty quickly, but Game of Theories, uh, responded to the video in the comment section saying that it's actually their theory and so we were like confused because you know like you had gotten it from this reddit thread we were pretty sure that it was just a reddit theory that's you know why you made the video so just to quickly explain to everyone what happened I reached out to the guys at Game of Theories I've spoken to Chris through the through email and what happened here is important I want to talk about what happened here because uh, Chris has some feelings about what happened. This guy on Reddit, what's the guy's name? Uh, it was like Turmoil26. Turmoil26, yeah. This guy apparently, according to Chris, took his theory and tried to take credit for it on Reddit. Right, so when you saw the Reddit thread, we didn't see way down that this whole thing had happened. We knew nothing about this drama or anything like that. So, um, What's interesting is, if this is the case, then Chris deserves all the credit in the world for, for creating the theory. The theory is a cool theory. Yeah, it was um, really cool. That's why it, I wanted to share with that. Yeah, everyone. it's awesome. And we're going to expound upon the theory in this video. We're going to talk about what we think of the theory in this video. But really quickly, if what happened happened, I mean, this dude tried to take credit from it. And what Chris told me on the email was like, look, it's not just you guys. There's a lot of other people that don't know what happened with that theory. Yeah, apparently there are a lot of other news outlets that have spoken right. with him as well. Right, right. So, so we want to just set the record straight. The theory is coming from Chris. It's likely from his channel. Now, there have been thoughts about Bran and Night King and things together, but I think Chris is the guy that pulled these pieces together and stated the theory in this way. That's my understanding of it. Is that kind of what you're... Yeah, that's what I'm getting from this whole situation. Yeah. So we're going to go ahead, we're going to go put like Chris's video in the description of our last yes. video, all that good stuff. Yes. Set we're... the record straight. Yes. It would appear that Chris got burnt um, and this guy tried to take credit for it. You never tried to do that though. You never took credit for the theory. No, no. It yeah. wasn't mine at all. Period. No, it wasn't the theory. So let, let's go right into talking about the theory itself because if anything, I want to I want to expound on this. I want to talk about it. And then like, guys, go check out Game of Theories. You probably already do. They're very good at what they do. They have great production. They're awesome. Go check it out. But as far as the theory itself, do you want to tell the guys again just really quickly, what is the theory in... in uh, Summation. Yeah, so the basic theory in summation is that Bran Stark, through traveling back in time and warging in all of these different people, eventually gets stuck in the body of the person who is going to become the Night King. Right. And he ends up becoming the Night King. Right. And so Bran is existing in this timeline both as Bran Stark and as the Night King. Yes. And it's a cool theory, and I will say this. The one thing that, that I am drawn to within the context of the theory is I like the idea that brand going back in time is is screwing things up. Like we kind of already know that, right? The whole door, the whole hold the door thing is that. Yeah, it's so, all brand's fault. Yeah, so like look, you can't there's a lot of goodness in the theory. I don't know if I buy it. I got to be honest. Like I just don't know if I buy it despite the evidence being there despite some of the information being pretty compelling. So, what are your overall thoughts of the theory? Like, do you do you buy it? What are your problems with it, maybe? What do you think? I mean, I buy the idea in the context of the show. Right. In the story the right. show is trying to tell. But in terms of, like, George R. R. Martin himself writing this into the Song of Ice and Fire books, I just really don't think he would do that. Right. I really don't think he would manipulate things in that way. But... I mean, as far as the show goes, it could be plausible. It could be an end of the final season, like, 
final bit, like what the hell moment yeah. that could give us that bittersweet ending that we all want from Game yeah, of Thrones. Yeah, we kind of think that the, to me, a lot of people that I talk about or with in the community are like, uh, is it a tragedy or is it a, it's probably not a happy ending. That's kind of what we're getting. It would be mm. almost out of the spirit of A Song of Ice and Fire to us, for us to just have that happy-go-lucky ending. Like, John and Danny go make babies. You know what I mean? And everybody's fine. I think something bad, more or less, is going to happen. Uh, the reason I personally don't buy the theory is because the circular nature of time travel is sort of the problem. So, like, what he's saying to... Uh, the Three-Eyed Raven is saying to Bran, the ink is still dry, this, that, and the other thing. He, I think what he's really saying there is, you've already screwed up. Your screw-ups are already kind of pre-written. Like, you can't control this. Stop trying to control this. And as far as, like, the theories of Bran being all the brands, I get it. Like, I get what people are saying. Like, that makes sense and is even plausible. He could have even turned the Mad King mad trying to prevent what's happening in Game of Thrones. I think that's an absolute definite. The, yeah, you whispers, think the whispers turning the Mad King mad. It's, yeah. It's definite, it definitely makes sense, but as far as like him eventually being stuck and warging in, I don't buy it. I also just think that you're, you will fly and flying through time, that's crazy. That, 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 there's, that you're, you're really reaching for straws, I think, when you, when you say that. Like, we're flying through time, we're flying on Route 66, like, nah, I think he's talking about flying in a dragon. Like, I think that's where we're going, he's gonna warg into a you're dragon. You're going with the whole warging of the dragon thing? Yes, yes, I think that's kind of where we're at, and hopefully maybe even warg into an ice dragon, or whatever, which would be amazing! But, um, <laughs> the, uh, the theory's a good theory, I, I don't buy it, here's another reason I don't buy it. Right now they're stacking the Night King. They are mm. stacking the Night King, dude. He's got an ice dragon. He's got the massive armies. You know what I mean? Like, he is going to win this war. Our greatest weapon is not the Nairs and the Dragons. It's Bran. Bran is like Professor X in Cerebro levels of powerful. He can do things and has been doing things that seriously could affect the outcome of, of this War for the Dawn. Yeah. So, to me, to make our one weapon... Also, the thing that like is the thing that's going to destroy us. Then they have no shot. Like they just literally have no shot, and that's not compelling writing. Like that's not the way to write that. There's I have a, a caveat to this, and I think you could do a thing with like a meta brand or like a dark version of brand, that, like an alternate timeline brand. Yeah, that went back or something. And was just right, like right, screw right, it. Right. The whole timeline is messed up anyways. Exactly. But the idea that that brand, that boy, that was handed the knife by Littlefinger is somehow secretly maneuvering things or eventually will destroy all of us. I just, I just don't buy it, man. What do you think? Uh, I don't know. I think the show might potentially go that route, sort of try to give us a whole, like, mind destruction near the end or something like that. Just try to do something so crazy and so over the top that it seems like it's in the spirit of the show now. Because I think we can both agree that the spirit of the show has gotten even more bombastic and even yes. more over the top than yes. it ever could have been in previous seasons. Yeah, I can totally agree with that. And look, like I'm, like I've said, I, there are parts of the theory I get, and I think that to say Bran is all the, the brands, I, I can believe that way more than he's the Night King. Like I just draw a line there, like. I mean, unless like they say, Night King Bran knows he's going to lose and he's doing it anyways. It's possible, and I like that part of the theory. Like, Chris, if you're watching this video, I like that part of the theory, man. I'm just not ready to give... I just can't. I, I don't know. That's just for me personally. Like, my gut tells me it's it's a sound theory, but it's one of those theories that's like... Like, if you ever watched the uh, this, uh, Sam Jackson, Mace Windu is Snoke video? Yeah. On its own laurels? D dude, that's Mace Windu. You know what I mean? Like, that's Mace Windu. That, that theory is great. It's also completely not true. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just because the the highest uh, mistress or the highest person in this magical realm is uh, the writers. And if they don't want to do it, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Right. So that's kind of where my head is at with it. But before we end the video, real quick, bottom line, do you buy this theory? Do you not buy this theory? I think the show writers could do it. I think they could do it. Hmm. So you buy it? Uh, I think it's a possibility in the context of the show. Right. Not in the books. Yeah. 
I don't buy it. I don't buy it, and uh, you know, I've already kind of stated my reasons for not buying it. But um, what's more important is what do you guys think, man? I mean, that, that's why Justin did the video because we want to know what what you guys think. You know what I mean? We want to start this discussion. So uh, let us know in the comments section. Is there anything else you want to yeah, say? Not we... only do we want to know what you think, but we like Game of Thrones theories, and I like doing that video. So if you have more Game of Thrones theories you think we should cover and you think are super cool that I can just expound on and just talk about and then just enjoy talking about send them my way yeah let's know 100% agree we love that's one of my favorite things about this actually somebody hit us up and I've just been so busy I apologize but somebody hit us up on Facebook talking about the Easter egg in Netflix about how Sam Jackson might be in Defenders did you see that no. There's some pretty compelling evidence for that. And I love getting that kind of information for you guys. That's what this is about. It's about fun, geeking out, nerding out together, talking about these cool things. I love that part of what we do. You know what I mean? So, yeah. for real, hit us up with any theories that you want to cover. And just in general, if you want us to cover some stuff, let us know in the comment section, man. That's the best way for us to gauge what kind of content you guys want to do. So, uh, this is our follow up to the brand theory. Justin loves it there, he buys it sort of. I love the theory as well, but I don't buy it. Uh, but let us know what you think, guys, in the comment section. Do you buy the theory? What are your problems with it? What do you think about it? Um, and as we always say, I hope you're having an awesome and uh, nerdy day. And we will catch you later. And make Josh mad. Hashtag brand is the Night King in the comments. Don't do it. Bye-bye. It's, it's not true. It's not true. <laughs> don't do it. All right.